Hey guys, Josh Kasparic here. And as you can see by this title, this is all about Russell Wilson. And I wanted to do this commentary specifically because of some of the reaction I saw post-Redskins game. Where Russell Wilson uh, did have some interesting plays, to say the least. And some people's frustrations were, you know, going between did we see improvement in the preseason to can Russell Wilson throw from the pocket. There was a lot of strain going on during the game. And it was all through the, my Twitter timeline and some other things. And so I wanted to take a look at it because I got asked after the Denver game by uh, someone in the Seahawks subreddit. They asked if the Russell Wilson we saw in preseason was, uh, you know, an improved Russell Wilson or, you know, if this scrambling Russell Wilson sort of backyard football, uh, Russell Wilson was the real, was the real guy. So, you know, is it just preseason or is this, you know, real marked improvement? I think in terms of how people are feeling about the offense and the way, you know, Russell Wilson commands it, they feel a little bit like this. Hi, I'm Russell Wilson, and this is Seahawk Football. Okay, okay, that might be a little harsh, you know, setting that to the jackass theme. But, I mean, based on people's reactions, that's almost how they felt. Like, Russell Wilson was incapable of running a regular offense. So, instead of being dramatic, instead of saying, oh, you know, we can't do this, we can't do that, we, you know, can't see improvement this way, or... Or maybe there are just things he can't do. I want to talk about some some key areas. There's two key areas that Russell Wilson needs to improve on. And then I'll talk a little bit about why preseason was important. And what we saw from Russell Wilson there. Okay, The two things that Russell Wilson needs to work on are audibles. Getting out of plays that are bad. And these are plays you can identify are bad at the line of scrimmage. As he said himself after the Redskins game, he basically uh, put two or three sacks on himself. And I say it's three. There were two overload blitzes, which he should have keyed out of those plays. And there were there was a A-gap blitz in which he should have audibled out of the play. But here's what I think Russell Wilson is. He's a guy that wants to make all the plays. And so in this case, a lot of young guys will see a blitz like that or, you know, that think they want to make a play and they'll look at it and they'll go, I can make this play. You know, if my protection holds up for just a split second, I've got a huge play backside. But there's no way his protection can hold up. There's no way, unless you call a play that's going to move the pocket, especially against that A-gap blitz, there's no way for your offensive line to win that matchup. And he's got to know that, and he's got to take away that play. Even if it means it's just a drop the middle for two yards. And all the fans could boo, but it's the right call there, and it's the play Russell Wilson needs to make. You know, I don't need him to see him throw from the pocket. I know he can do that. He threw from the pocket to Jermaine Curse on the touchdown. It exists. It happens. What I need to see from Russell Wilson is audibles. And the second thing I need to see is more throws to the running back. More 
decisive and quick throws. And what I mean is, we've seen it down in the red zone. The reason running backs have as many touchdowns as they do is he's making that decision much quicker. He's not waiting for that coverage to reveal itself. He's saying, if you're going to pull off my running backs, I'm going to throw the ball there and you're going to give up a touchdown. So, you know, what I think he needs to do, I think he needs to threaten that. You know, if his running backs get 60, 70 receptions this year, that needs to be a thing. Because if they're going to retreat deep and respect Russell Wilson's arm strength, because that's what they do to Drew Brees. Drew Brees is a shorter guy. So a lot of times when he sees that coverage bail very quickly, he throws to the running back. When he gets pressure up the middle, he doesn't scramble much. He tosses to the running back. Throws to the running back are Russell Wilson's friend going forward. And um, I think we don't need to see him give up the big plays from scrambling around. But I think if Russell Wilson goes ahead and starts going to those underneath throws to the back or the or the outlet receiver on plays, we're going to see a lot more effective offense going forward. That's just my feeling. Now, as far as the preseason goes, some people were asking, did it even mean anything? And I think it meant a lot for his growth. It showed his growth as a quarterback. And you're saying to yourself, how so, if we're seeing the same Russell Wilson? Well, I think there are some things we're not seeing the same. One is pre-snap reads. He's getting a pretty good read on the defense pre-snap. And you're also seeing better uh, anticipation throws. The throw to, to Jermaine Curse is a clear demonstration of him throwing the ball on time with anticipation that Curse is going to be open there. If he holds that ball at all, if he questions that throw as he did two years ago, you know, uh, those type of throws, he will uh, not complete passes. He typically, if he had to go deeper down the field, wanted to throw only go routes. I think you've seen a lot more like comebacks and things like this, routes that require timing, and he's been much better at that type of stuff. So I think the preseason just demonstrated more of his skills improving and how his decision-making has gotten much faster and how just things have progressed for him. So with all that said, I'm going to leave it to you. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on this. Um, it's a complicated topic. I think... I think Russell Wilson's made market improvement, but I think there's plenty of things for him still to work on. Uh, as a quarterback, not just, you know, the typical, oh, why doesn't he throw from the pocket? Why does he run around? He abandons the pocket. I don't even think you need to worry about that right now. I think as the two things that I mentioned are more key to his continued success and uh, I... Again, I'd love to hear your thoughts, and uh, I'll come back with the topic sometime soon. Thanks.